for the Vikings, who will be taking the main lead for Cody Mossman. Got one for the three, Benjamin Jr. for the West Virginia, Cody Thomas for Cleveland State. West Virginia going to be taking on Cleveland State here at Woodling Gym. This is Zeb Miller live on GoHioCast YouTube. Welcome to the broadcast. Live here. Captain's out there on the mat. Number one ranked Noah Adams. The junior redshirt junior is 5-0 in the year. A Hodge Trophy candidate last year. So we're going to start at 125 pounds here. Coming out on the mat is going to be Jake Manley, the true freshman, one-on-one -on, -one on the year from Otsego High School. And Northwest Ohio is going to be taking on the Virginia native, Killian Cardinal. Cardinal, two and three on the year for WVU and Tim Flynn. Here we go. 125s are on the mat. Cardinal going to be in the red for WVU. In green is going to be Cleveland State. Cardinal front headlock, nice front headlock. Bounces the head, Cardinal. WVU in the red, red ankle bands. And in the green, Cleveland State's Jake Manley, the freshman, one and one on the year. So Cardinal. Nice little rubber knee there for Manley. Good job, way to escape from that hold. Cardinal had a nice single leg. Manley does a nice job. Jairo makes his hips out. Scoreless bout here. Cardinal digging underhook left side. Now both guys collar tie. Cardinal takes a little half shot, another little half shot. He's stalking him hard. Cardinal WVU, they are red on the scoreboard. Cardinal like a little inside trip there it looked like. Manley doing a nice job. He's battling here. Manley, the true freshman from Tentogany at Seagull High School in Northwest Ohio near Bowling Green in Toledo. So we're going to have a stalemate here. 123 remains in the first. Killian Cardinal. Cardinal for WVU taking on the true freshman, Jake Manley, in a scoreless bout here. 119 remains. You can see the clocks in the background. Scoreless. So two on one here for Cardinal. And now he's in on a right handed head inside single leg. He's been here before. Runs down a double, two takedown. 
Hardnell, 2-0 lead on Manley here. 101 remains in the first 2-0 lead for WVU. Match is brought to you by Defense Soap, Defense Soap, Defend What You Built, and Barbarian Apparel. Conquer the impossible. The official outfitter of Go Ohio Cass and Josh Sasby and Barbarian Apparel. Up to his feet, Manley does a roll. Check follow there by Cardinal. Now looking reversal as Manley had that low foot. Cardinal wrestles through the position and is back on top of the deep waist. So... WVU is killing Cardinal two and three on the year from Virginia, Bristol, Virginia. He's got a head lever there. It looks like he's trying to lace that bar up with 18 seconds remaining here in the first period. And WVU currently in the lead at 125. 10 seconds remains now in the first. And Cardinal gonna take a 2-0 lead into the second. Three seconds. Can Manley get this escape? He's not going to, and we're going to go into the second choice. Choice will be Cardinal, and he is going to go underneath Manly. So Manly covers. Cardinal underneath. Huge height advantage. And we're up neutral right away into a single leg two takedown. Cardinal, Cardinal with a 5 0 lead. He's got the head scoop. Killing Cardinal looking for some near falls here. Cardinal on top right now of Jake Manley, the true freshman, looking for that down leg Turk scooping the head. Manley's in some trouble here. He's got to crawl forward. Now scooping the leg is Cardinal. And it is 5-0. There's a stall warning on Manley underneath. Manley's got to get to some type of escape. He's got to get on the board here. He's getting shut out. Ride time at 139 and climbing right now for Killian Cardinal from West Virginia, the Virginia native. And he's dominating Manley right now. He's got to be thinking major decision. There's a, there's a swipe. Only one on that roll. And... Manley's going to survive, not giving up the near fall, but Cardinal putting a hard ride on him. Up over two minutes now of ride time, and it's climbing for Cardinal. Cardinal rocking the, the braids, too. So now Manley, there's a nice chop by Cardinal. He is riding tough on top right now, going to work. Manley's been warned for stalling, laying on the mat down there. Got to bring his hips up and head off the mat. 25 seconds remains in the second. Five to zero lead for WVU is Killian Cardinal. This is 125 WVU versus Cleveland State here in Woodling Gym. The first bout of the duel. Manley is a massive 125. He is one and one on the year for Josh Moore and the Cleveland State Vikings. Josh Moore's assistant coaches are Clint Musser and Boomer Fetchko. And Manley, 16 seconds to get out here. He's rolling, he's moving. There's a swipe. No near fall. Now he's looking reversal. He's got that ankle. Cardinal could be in some trouble here. Manley reaching back, looking for the head. Short time. And looks like he's going to run out of time. Cardinal going to remain on top. He's got 2.52 a ride time. It's Manley's choice here in the third. Once again, matches brought to you by Defense Soap. Defense Soap, defend what you've built. And Barbarian Apparel, conquer the impossible. We are live, coming from Woodling Gym in Cleveland, Ohio. Downtown Cleveland here on the campus of Cleveland State University. Manley goes underneath, 5-0 to zero lead. Cardinal, he has 2.52 at ride time. He's about to lock that up. And another five seconds, he'll have it. And Cardinal has locked up the riding time. So it's effectively 6-0 as Manley tries to roll again. Cardinal is dominated here for WVU, West Virginia. Looking like they're going to get on the board first here at 125. Manley going to get dinged for stalling again. He's got to watch giving up this major decision. So Cardinal, Manley. Matches brought to you by Barbarian Apparel. Conquer the impossible, the official outfitters of Ohio Casts. And arm bar laced up with a deep waist for Cardinal. And 
Manley's got to show some signs of life and bring his hips up off the mat. There's the stall and one makes it six, so effectively 7 0 now. 110 remains in the third period here. The riding time is approaching four minutes for Cardinal. Manley's got to do something here. He's got to come up. He's going to get dinged again. One minute remains. So Cardinal looks like he's going to let him go. Maybe looking for like a cow catcher run him over, but he's actually just going to give the one up. Manley's got to, he's got to fight here. 6 1. This is the big, this could be the difference in the duel. I mean, I know it's early on at 125, but the two on one for Cardinal. Nice. Pulls it down. Look at a run behind. It's Cardinal. Thirty seconds remains here at 125 pounds. Cardinal, a WVU dominating Jake Manley. There's a shot by Manley. Spin go behind two. Eight one effectively nine one. That will lock up the major decision with a ride out now in this next 20 seconds for Cardinal. And he is looking for four team points here. 12 seconds remains. Manley's got to fight for an escape, a reversal, something. And it's not going to happen. Five seconds remains. Killian Cardinal is going to pick up the major decision for Tim Flynn and the West Virginia Mountaineers. And there it is. So after 125, it's going to be 4-0 West Virginia. Killian Cardinal, major decision 9-1 over Jake Manley. So on to the 133s. So here comes Joey Thomas for WVU. Thomas, two and three on the year. He is a red shirt junior. He's taking on the sophomore, Logan Heil. Logan Heil from Brunswick, right down the road. So match is brought to you by Defense Soap. Defense Soap, defend what you built. And Barbarian Apparel, conquer the impossible, the official outfitter of the Ohio cast. 4-0 team lead here after 125. Killian Cardindale, major decision over Manley of Cleveland State, the true freshman. There's a shot by Heil. Heil up from 125 to 133. His brother Josh at Campbell, a senior. And older, oldest brother, Dean Heil, two-time NCAA champ for Oklahoma State. Heil underneath the front headlock right now of Thomas. We're gonna get a stalemate. 209 remains here in the first between Thomas and Heil. Heil and Cleveland State in green, WVU in red. So scoreless bout, one minute in, two minute remain, two minutes remain in the first. There's a shot. Front headlock now by Heil on Thomas. Trying to stop hop bounce is Heil. Not doing much with it. And back neutral on their feet now. No score here. 138 remains in the first between Heil and Thomas at 133 pounds. Heil for Cleveland State. Thomas for WVU West Virginia Mountaineers. West Virginia out of the Big 12. Cleveland State out of the Mid-American Conference. So a quick hitter today, no backup matches, no extra, no ranking matches. 25 to 285, 10 matches on the bus back home for the Mountaineers to Morgantown. We are in downtown Cleveland. I'm Zeb Miller. This is live on GoHioCast on YouTube. Matches brought to you by Defense Soap and Barbarian Apparel. 55 seconds remains here in the first. Make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. If you're watching on somebody else's device, make sure you subscribe to GoHioCast. There's a left-handed head inside single leg now. Not locked though is Thomas. Stuck down underneath, 32 seconds remained in the first on a scoreless bout between Thomas and Heil. Heil on that ankle, trying to spin around. Thomas now does have his hands locked. 22 seconds remained, we're gonna have a stalemate off the restart. Thomas and Heil, 22 seconds left in the first period here at 133 pounds. Your dual score is four to zero in favor of West Virginia. Cardinal with a 9-1 major decision over Manley. 
Five seconds remains here in the first at 133, and Heil and Thomas will have a scoreless first on to the second. Once again, match is brought to you by Defend Soap. Defend Soap, defend what you built, and Barbarian Apparel, conquer the impossible. Heil underneath to start the second, a scoreless bout between Joey Thomas, the redshirt junior from WVU, and the local kid, Logan Heil. Logan Heil, 0-2 on the year so far. Up to his feet is Heil, 1-0 lead. 2-3 and three on the year for Joey Thomas. Justin Patrick, the normal starter for CSU, dinged his shoulder last week against Kent State. And now 1-0 lead for Logan Heil of Cleveland State. Cleveland State green on the scoreboard, and your dual score is 4-0. WVU, there's a shot by Heil. So Heil, Thomas, 133s are on the mat. Nothing, not a ton of action here thus far. So we're inside of a minute. 52 seconds remain here at 133 pounds. One to zero lead right now for Logan Heil. There's a shot by Joey Thomas. And couldn't get his hands locked earlier. Now he's got them touching. They're not quite locked. Now he tries to readjust, loses his lock. And him and Heil, 32 seconds away from going into the third. It is a 1-0 lead for Heil. Thomas has got him pushed towards the zone of the edge. 20 now. And Thomas has taken the only two real shots. And him and Heil are in a dogfight here. We're inside of 10 seconds. Five now. A little grip fighting there from the two. Official warns him. End of the second period. 14 seconds of ride time for Joey Thomas. And 1-0 lead for Heil. Thomas will choose underneath to start the third. So there is the start of the third. Heil riding on top. He can ride for the win. Thomas looking to come up and out. Heil looking to put a ride on him. Get a win here for Cleveland State. Get him on the board. It is 4-0 to zero right now off the strength of a major decision by Killian Cardinal at 125 pounds. Match is brought to you by Defense Soap. Defense Soap, defend what you built and Barbarian Apparel. Conquered the impossible. Josh Heil putting an impressive ride on here. Pulls them to the edge. Now they're in the crab. Thomas is looking to, the boot is in actually for Heil. And Heil's got to watch falling off here. Got to watch falling off here. And he is putting a really good ride on him. His ride time's up to 31 seconds. 114 remains here. 29 seconds more of ride time for Heil. And he will put that riding time point on the board. So 114 remains, Heil at 31 seconds ride time. He's on the ankle driving forward. He can see if he can get that boot in again. It's a big time eater, time waster, whatever you want to call it, time consumer. 133 pounds, one minute remains, 1-0 lead, Josh Heil, he's on top with 47 seconds of ride time and climbing, but Thomas up to his feet. Heil drops down, looking to run the double over. He does got to watch the locking hands call. We're on the edge, we're gonna get a restart. 57 seconds of ride time for Heil. And Heil's in a great position here. Three more seconds and he'll be over a minute for ride time. Thomas is gonna have to get out real quick, fast, in a hurry. 48 seconds remains, he's up to his feet. The ride time up over a minute. Heil's gotta watch getting dinged for stalling here. He's gonna have to return him. There's the stall, but he's got 105 over ride time. 40 seconds remains here. 1-1 one, one on the board, but 2-1 for Heil. Thomas has gotta go get a takedown to erase the riding time. Takedown right out, wins it for him. 30 seconds remains here at 133. There's a shot by Thomas, he's been in on a couple. He tries to dump him. He's got that arm, front headlock. Heil's been warned for stalling. He's gotta be careful here. 15 seconds remains, 1-1 one, one bout. Thomas with his hands locked on a single leg. On the edge here, 10 seconds now. Can Logan Heil hang on? Here at 133, he's trying to split the middle. 
Now looking to hook the down leg. Short time, three seconds. Hiles gonna hang on. And Logan Hiles is gonna pick up a two win, two one win and put Cleveland State on the board and it will be a 2-1 win. Logan Heil via ride time. What a match. Heil 4-3, dual score after 1-33. So here we go. The 141 pounders are on the mat. Jeffrey Boyd, the redshirt freshman, three and two on the year for WVU. He has taken on the Lima Central Catholic Thunderbird. I hope I got that right. Joey Caprella, the transfer from Old Dominion University after they dropped their program. So Caprella and Cleveland State will be in the green. There's a little knee slide by Caprella and he is Jeffrey Boyd the redshirt freshman three and two on the year Caprella undefeated on the year one and oh so Caprella looking to get Cleveland State the lead here as Logan Heil gets a ride out not quite a ride out but a, over a minute of ride time he wins on ride time at 133 for Cleveland State, a 4-3 duel. Major decision at a 125 for Carnondale. Made it four for WVU. It is 141's on the mat now. Match is brought to you by Defense Soap. Front headlock now by Boyd. Match is brought to you by Defense Soap. Defense Soap, defend what you built, and Barbarian Apparel, Conquer the Impossible. The official outfitter of Ohio Casts. So front headlock for Boyd, looking maybe to pancake him over. Caprella not going for it. Caprella, state placer for Lima Central Catholic on the mat right now, Northwest Ohio. Two out of the three first starters for Cleveland State or Northwest Ohio Division Three products. Manly out of Otsego at 125. And... Now Caprella at 141. Otsego for Manly, Lima Central Catholic for Caprella. Caprella, the Old Dominion transfer. Him, Boyd, scoreless here. 55 seconds remains in the first period. There's a nice shot by Boyd. Doesn't get his hands locked. Front headlock now for Joey Caprella. Caprella. And Boyd, scoreless here, 42 seconds remains at 141 pounds. Your duel score four to three in favor of West Virginia over Cleveland State right now. Rustling in the center, nice slide by for Boyd. He had him, didn't put him down. There's a wizard there now for Caprella. 26 seconds remains in the first, no score yet. He's looking to run and somehow Caprella comes out of that now. Single leg to the other side and Caprella's hopping. Looking to get this takedown, it's Boyd, two, nothing yet, no! Wow, Caprella faced him, that was nice! Short time, seven seconds remains in the first one, the shin wizard for Caprella, looks like it's gonna save him. Snakes that leg over, nothing yet! Caprella steps over it, and nothing, what a first period, great action between Joey Caprella and Jeffrey Boyd at 141, scoreless first, and that was... Some great attacks by Boyd, but great counter defense by Joey Caprella. And you got to love it, folks. 141's on the mat getting the job done. Scoreless first, though. So Boyd down first. Up and out. Jeffrey Boyd going to be on the board first for West Virginia. 1-0 lead over Joey Caprella here at 141. Matches brought to you by Defense Soap. Defense Soap, defend what you built, and Barbarian Apparel conquer the impossible. So, Boyd in on a couple different single legs, couldn't finish on Caprella, and he's hit that slide by in the first. And I don't know how he's not getting it. Drops down to a single, that's two, take down Boyd. So Boyd 3-0 lead now on Caprella here at 141 pounds. So the 
Mountaineers have a 4-3 lead on the dual score board. We are at 141, the third bout of the day. Caprala looking to come up and out for Cleveland State. He's up and out. It's going to be for Boyd. 5-1 lead, Boyd. But Caprella looking to scoop step over. 24 seconds remain in the second. Boyd in the driver's seat here. 5-1 lead. Caprella looking to get a reversal here. Reaching over. Now he's got a cradle strapped up. He could have him in some trouble. Caprella with the cradle. And now Boyd kind of steps over it. Nothing yet. And there it is. Reversal. It should have been two and two. It's gonna make it five three. End of the second. Seven three now, and they didn't count any backs for either guy. And Edinburgh is furious. <laughs> I said Edinburgh. WVU is furious. <laughs> the coaching staff, formerly known as Edinburgh, is furious. West Virginia's Cliff Moore not happy with that. Definitely thought there were some near fall points for Boyd. Not on the board. It's gonna make it seven three here, going to the third off. They traded two reversals there. So four points were, two and two were traded. So Caprella up to his feet immediately here. And up and out is Caprella. 7-4 now. Boyd in the lead. Jeffrey Boyd, the redshirt freshman. Taking on Joey Caprella. Joey Caprella, the redshirt freshman. So two redshirt freshmen. There's an ankle pick by Caprella, can't do anything with it. Now he shoots him off, and that's gonna be a stall on Boyd. 7-4, riding time not a factor right now. So Caprella gaining some momentum here against Boyd. Caprella, Cleveland State, Boyd of West Virginia, 7-4 lead, Boyd of WVU. Matches brought to you by Defense Soap, Defense Soap, Defend What You Built, and Barber and Apparel conquer the impossible. 115 left here in the third. Caprella down to Boyd. 7 4. Riding time not a factor. Now Caprella's pushing hard. Shoved him off. Looking to shove him off for another stall warning potentially. And now not letting Boyd back in is Caprella. Caprella gives up another deep shot. Boyd looking to score here again. Caprella trying to gyro Midas hips here. 44 seconds remains. Boyd in a good position to put him in the danger zone. Looking for a danger call, not gonna get it now. Man, Caprella is long and lanky here. 141, 33 seconds left. Caprella tries a cross ankle pick. Boyd will ice this thing with a takedown. And now that shin wizard, he might be thinking Jonesy tilt kick over here. 20 seconds remains. Now looking splatal is Caprella. Boyd's gonna ice this match 9-4, and he will get ride time as it's at 55 seconds in climbing with 10 seconds remaining in the bout. And Boyd, Jeffrey Boyd, is going to extend WVU's lead to 7-3 to after 141 pounds. Jeffrey Boyd with a decision, regular decision, over Joey Caprella, and the 149s are gonna be on the mat 7-3 in favor of WVU. So here come the 149s there on the mat. At 149 pounds, you're gonna be looking at the Buffalo transfer, Marcus Robinson Robinson. And he is taking on Braden Roberts. Braden Roberts, three and two freshman for Tim Flynn and WVU. So matches brought to you by Defense Soap, Defense Soap, Defend What You Built, and Barbarian Apparel conquered the impossible. So Roberts is going to be red on the scoreboard for West Virginia. Robinson going to be green for Cleveland State. Robinson one and one on the season for Cleveland State. Roberts three and two for Tim Flynn and West Virginia and the Mountaineers. The Mountaineers with a seven to three lead right now here, going into 149. So if you are WVU, got to be looking at extending that lead here. Cleveland State will win to them. Puts it a regular decision. would make it 7-6, and it would be right in it. 
10 du only 10 matches today in this duel. Matches brought to you by Barbarian Apparel, Conquer the Impossible, the official outfitters of GoHioCast. Make sure you hit subscribe to GoHioCast, folks. Cleveland State knocked off Kent State last week. Robinson now single leg. Robinson, his head's on the outside. He might be looking to try and get it to the inside. Shin Wizard there for Roberts. He's got Roberts hopping now. Robinson looking for the takedown here. 124 remains in the first for Robinson to try and get this. Tries to club him down, tries to throw the boot over on the opposite side, does Robinson. Now he's gonna come back up with it. Roberts hopping on the edge here, tries to cross ankle pick. And it doesn't look like Robinson's gonna do anything with that single. That shin wizard, now he releases it and he reaches over, does Roberts. Roberts could be looking for two here. He's locked over on the head and arm on the opposite side. Robinson's still on the single leg. He's lost the, no, he's still locked. And 45 seconds remains in the first. We're scoreless here at 149. We're gonna be off the mat and get a restart. Off the restart, 44 seconds here. Left in the first between Robinson of Cleveland State and Roberts of WVU. The dual score is in favor, seven to three in favor of West Virginia, the Mountaineers up on the Vikings right now. So West Virginia out of the Big 12, Cleveland State out of the Mid-American Conference. In the first period here, we're inside a 30, 25 seconds remains in a scoreless bout between Robinson of Cleveland State and Roberts of WVU. Matches brought to you by Defense Soap, Defense Soap, Defend what you've built. And Barbarian Apparel conquered the impossible. We did get some college wrestling in this gym last week. There's another shot by Robinson. Two, take down Robinson. Beautiful, returns into the mat inside of five seconds. Robinson gonna take a 2-0 lead into the second. And he looked great in the first. That first attack where he got to the edge, couldn't quite finish it. Now he counter shots off that other, the, the last attack and gets a beautiful takedown, runs right to it. Two takedown. Marcus Robinson, the redshirt sophomore, underneath for Cleveland State with a 2-0 lead, taking on Braden Roberts, the freshman from West Virginia. So Roberts will cover Robinson underneath. Four seconds of riding time for Robinson. Switches right off the whistle, gets his hips out. The boots are coming in now for Roberts. And now Robinson back up to his feet. Robert's gonna have to return him. He does nice, nice little mat return there for Roberts. 140 remains in the first. The riding time is ticking up for Roberts right now at 20 and climbing. And half in on the left side for Roberts. No boots in yet. He's thinking about throwing him in. Robinson blocks him. Now we're in a crab. Robinson back up to his feet, back to the crab. Right boot is in now for Roberts. Robinson is in a bad spot. 110 remains here in the first. He is flattened out underneath for Cleveland State. Roberts doing a nice job putting a hard ride on him. His ride time is going up to a minute. And there it is. It just eclipses a minute and is climbing Robinson is in a bad spot right now. He is bringing his head up off the mat, trying to bring his hips up. Good punishing ride here on top for Braden Roberts, the freshman from West Virginia. Tim Flynn's WVU guys can ride tough on top, which is what you should expect. 37 seconds remains in the second period. Braden Roberts, the freshman from West Virginia, Putting a hard ride on Marcus Robinson right now. His ride time is 118 and climbing for Roberts. Roberts covers. False start, cheating. Robinson underneath. Can't do that, folks. So Braden Roberts, 36 seconds to finish this ride out. He'd have nearly two minutes of riding time, just shy. Covers, wow, Robinson got away with another one there. He's up to his feet. 
and he is up and out. And now it is 3-0 Robinson. Roberts has got to get a takedown here. 22 seconds remains. 125 a ride time for Roberts. WVU got to be thinking big one. Oh, nice cross knee pick. Oh, that was nice. From the underhook cross knee pick for Robinson. He's got a 5-0 lead. Eight seconds remains here in the first. Second, that is. Check that in the second. And the ride time is still going to be up over a minute. And that's the end of the second period. Third period choice, Roberts. Roberts is going to go underneath, down 5-0 to Marcus Robinson. Marcus Robinson with two beautiful attacks. Robinson has a caution. He covers. See if he can work that ride time down below a minute. It's at 109 and falling. Looking hard mat return. He does return him to the mat. Wasn't hard though. And Robinson's looking at the riding time, and it is down below a minute. He drops down to a single now, does Robinson. He puts Roberts back to the mat. There was the count, and Robinson's putting a hard ride on. If you're Cleveland State at this point, you got to be thinking major decision now. Robinson, 130 left, 5-0 lead. The riding time's at 40 seconds and falling. It's not going to be a factor. And Roberts got to get up here. Braden Roberts is not in a good position right now. He's got to come up off the mat. And now looking tilt is Marcus Robinson. Now he's got the right boot in. And Robinson's in a great position here. 14 seconds remains. Marcus Robinson looking to make this a one point duel. Roberts is up and out. It's going to make it 5-1. Roberts takes a shot. And that will do it. We're inside a, oh, geez, I'm looking at the, I was looking at the riding time. It's 41 seconds remaining. Check that. Two clocks running, folks. Two clocks running. Both of them are counting down. So it's 33 seconds remaining. Marcus Robinson's in a great position. There's an ankle pick again. Looking to run to a double. Now he splits the middle, does Robinson. Robinson back up to, goes down to his head. 18 seconds remains between Roberts and Robinson. 5-1 lead, Robinson. Inside of 10 seconds now. Five remains. Robinson's going to pick up a 5-1 win. And the duel will be 7-6 after 149. Mountaineers will have a one-point lead, and Robinson picks up the 5-1 win for Cleveland State at 149. So the Stowe Bulldog is coming out. Daniel Patton, 2-0 for Cleveland State at 157 pounds. Going to be taking on WVU's Alex Hornfeck. In fact, the red shirt sophomore two and one on the year. This is 157. WVU green on the scoreboard. Hornfeck, Patton, Patton green on the scoreboard. WVU red on the scoreboard. So West Virginia Mountaineers red on the score for, scoreboard. Cleveland State is green. Patton, the true freshman. So Patton, Hornfeck. Match is brought to you by Defense Soap. Defense Soap, defend what you built, and Barbarian Apparel conquered the impossible. Barbarian Apparel is the official outfitters of GoHioCast. The official outfitter of GoHioCast. Check out barbarianapparel.com or go get all of the hygiene products you need from Defense Soap at defensesoap.com. There's a nice shot for Hornfeck. Right-handed, head inside, single leg. He's got Patton hopping. He's going to trip him down. Patton goes to the splits here on the edge. 152 remains. Plenty of time for Hornfeck to get this. This is 157. Now he's got a cradle strapped up. He's got to crack him to his hip, though. Has not done that. Patton in a good position. Got to keep facing him. His foot's on the floor. We're off the mat. We got a restart. No score. 141 remains here in the first period between Hornfeck of West Virginia and Patton of Cleveland State. No score there. Got to crack him to his hip there. Great defense by Patton, the freshman. 
Daniel Patton from Stowe right down the road, who's a Stowe Bulldog. And he tries to punch up an underhook single on Hornfeck, unable to do it. The team score is currently 7-6 to six in favor of the West Virginia Mountaineers. So two matches apiece. There's a shot by Hornfeck. Alex Hornfeck, the redshirt sophomore, taking on true freshman Daniel Patton. So we're in the first 55 seconds remains. There's a stall warning on Patton. Hornfeck has been more busy. He's been on a really good attack. Had a cradle locked up on the edge of the mat. Could not bump him to his hip for the two. We're still scoreless. 42 seconds remaining in the first between Hornfeck of West Virginia and CSU's Daniel Patton. Alex Hornfeck. There's a shot by Patton. Nice double leg. Puts him down. Two takedown. Here at 157 for Daniel Patton, and he's looking really good for Cleveland State at 157 pounds. Wasn't even the starter last week for Josh Moore and the Vikings. Now he's getting the job done is Patton, and wow, I'm impressed, and we're going to get a restart. Patton looking really good here at 157. Short time, six seconds remains here in the first period. So... Patton covers. Hornfeck looking to get one here in the remaining seconds. Up to his feet, Hornfeck, and that's going to be the end of the first period. 2 0 lead. Daniel Patton going into the second for Cleveland State. Looking impressive. All right. So, 2 0 lead at 157 pounds here for Daniel Patton of Cleveland State University. He covers Alex Hornfeck. Hornfeck for WVU underneath right now. Hornfeck, three or two and one on the season. Patton is undefeated at two and oh. Was not the starter last week versus Kent State. He earned that position this week. And Patton looking strong with a two one lead now on Alex Hornfeck. Hornfeck's gotta go get one back here. Hornfeck is a tall 157 pounder. I mean, I am talking over six feet. Two one lead, 125 remains here at 157 pounds in the second period. Hornfeck with a front headlock on Patton. Takes him back down to the mat on his hands. Hornfeck looking to run the corner here on his knees though. Not a good position if you want to score from a front headlock. Hornfeck looking to run the corner here. Patton doing a nice job facing, sucking on that arm hard, maybe sucker drag here for Patton. And the length of Hornfeck is crazy. This guy is a massive 157 punter. And we're gonna get a stalemate, 43 seconds remains. Patton does have 36 seconds of ride time with a 2-1 lead on Hornfeck of West Virginia. So Cleveland State gonna take the lead here after 170 or 157. Daniel Patton, 2-1 lead. There's a shot by Hornfeck. Deep shot. Again, he had a deep shot on the edge. He couldn't finish at the end of the first. 30 seconds remains here. Kind of the same position. He had a cradle locked up on the edge, and Patton did a nice job. He's got it again. Now he's got the cradle strapped up. Hornfeck's got Patton in some big trouble here. He couldn't get him on his hip last time. Is he going to get it? goes to roll, and now he's going to catch him. Patton could be looking for a fall. Oh, he's going to get a six-pointer out of it. Daniel Patton looking for the fall for Cleveland State, and there it was. It's close. It's real close, and it is real close, and there it is, fall for Daniel Patton. He picks up the fall for Cleveland State, and they're going to take the lead. 12 to 7 after 157, and they are competing. Wow, this is crazy. So the 165s are on the mat. Cleveland State with a 12-7 lead. And nationally ranked Peyton Hall is coming out of the mat. 16th is the last I saw him ranked. He's a freshman from West Virginia for the Mountaineers. He's going to be taking on App State transfer Smithville Smithy Riley Smucker. So here we go. 165s on the mat. Cleveland State, 12-6 lead. Smucker, deep shot. And immediately Peyton Hall puts his knee in danger with the old rubber knee. The Ohio River Valley Junkyard Dog from West Virginia. 
Ironman placer, multiple time West Virginia state champ, one of your top recruits in the country at the weight. Peyton Hall ranked 16th in the country, taking on Riley Smucker. Smucker in on a deep single leg to start. And now Smucker trying again, and that was nice. Peyton Hall fires one back, and they are scrapping. Folks, if you got one marked on the calendar to watch, this is one of them. This is one of the better matches you're going to see at 165 pounds this year. Paul, the freshman. Smucker, the Smithstown Smithy. Richard sophomore, he's undefeated. Peyton Hall's 4-1, I believe his only loss is to <laughs> defending NCAA champion. <laughs> and there's the left-handed head inside single leg for Peyton Hall. Makai Lewis, I believe, is his only loss. It's not a bad loss. And nothing yet. Going to the splits. Hall couldn't get it. Now facing him is Smucker. Now Smucker, there's the hips are covered, but nothing yet. He's got to snake that boot in, and we're off the mat. Smucker is doing a nice job. He frustrates Hall on that one. We're back to the center. 147 remains here at 165. Your dual score is 12 to seven in favor of Cleveland State after a pinfall at 157. Daniel Patton with a pinfall. Three matches to two right now. Cleveland State on WVU. They're scrapping hard. Smucker, Cleveland State. Cleveland State with the green and black singlets on gray, green and black. They're green on the scoreboard. 120 remains here in the first match. It's brought to you by Defense Soap. Defense Soap, defend what you built, and Barbarian Apparel, conquer the impossible. Peyton Hall, just a freshman. He's from West Virginia. Front headlock now for Smucker. Smucker and Peyton Hall scrapping here, folks. The shot on the edge, and we're going to get a restart. Action is the call. No stalling there. So I believe Hall's only loss this year is to Mikhail Lewis. So 52 seconds remains. Riley Smucker in a good position here to try and rock, knock off 20, top 20 nationally ranked Peyton Hall. Peyton Hall, just a freshman for West Virginia and Tim Flynn. Peyton Hall is the real deal, folks. 165, a bananas weight class. You get on the top eight in the podium this year at 165, you are a man. Eight through first. I mean, we are talking about some really good competition at 165. Kai Lewis, Alex Marinelli, Evan Wick. I mean, if Evan Wick wrestles. But he's there, he's in that class of guys. Just a really good weight. So, scoreless first, going into the second. Choice, Hall, he's gonna go underneath. Hall is up and out, and Hall has a 1-0 lead here on Riley Smucker. Peyton Hall, the Mountaineer, nice chuck, go behind, nothing. And they are scrapping, man, and peppering them with shots. Hall and Smucker are going hard here. It is not a drill, folks. 1-0 lead Peyton Hall, but both guys are attacking. You got to love to see it. 165 rankings are just... Yeah, something else, man. 165 is going to be the way to watch this year. Kai Lewis, your number one rank, 165. Marinelli, number two, Shane Griffith. Wow. Whit Lake out of Oklahoma State. It's a, it's a great weight class. Anthony Valencia coming back for two more years. Hopefully we can see him. Joe Lee out of Penn State. Wenzel out of Pitt. Got knocked off by one of the Bullards last night. I mean, it's a great weight class. I don't think you'll see Wick this year. I'd like to see Wick this year. At 165, I don't think you're gonna see it.
Yeah. I'm... So Hall, Smucker, 32 seconds remains here. 1-0 lead for Peyton Hall. Shot, deep shot, left-handed head inside single leg for Hall, looking to score here. He had this earlier. He's been unable to finish it. 19 seconds remains. He trips Smucker down to take down Peyton Hall. He stuck with it and he got it. And Smucker is hurt, he's tapping. So we're gonna take an injury timeout. It's gonna be Peyton Hall's choice with nine seconds left in the second period. Peyton Hall, he chopped wood on that, folks. He kept going and going and going and going, and he finally got it on Smucker. And now there, it looks like they're looking at the ankle of Riley Smucker. So just real quick, West Virginia down 12 to seven right now here. We're at 157. Match score in favor of Peyton Hall is three to zero over Riley Smucker. Dual score 12 to seven in favor of the Cleveland State Vikings. So nine seconds remains in the second period. This will be choice for Hall. So Peyton Hall, 16th is one of the national rankings I saw for him. He is a top 25 guy or top 20 guy. So back to action here. It is going to be so. So only loss for Peyton Hall is actually to Zach Hartman, four to three. It was not to Makai. So check that, correction. I'm gonna tell you right now, look for this guy and to be in the top 12 though. He's that type of guy, he's that type of talent. Is Peyton Hall. His choice with nine seconds left. I'm gonna have to run this down. Hall, 3-0 lead, nine seconds remains. 21 seconds of, of uh, injury time. So Hall could run his lead to 4-0. He's up to his feet. There's a claw. There's a roll. Step over. Reversal. And now it's going to be 5-0. And Hall starting to blow this thing wide open. It's going to be Choice Smucker. Smucker going to go underneath. So, folks, make sure you hit the subscribe button for Go Ohio Cast. Peyton Hall covers. He's got a 5-0 lead on uh, Riley Smucker. Peyton Hall, the real deal, folks. Only one loss on the season. Look out, Big 12. It's going to have to beat Travis Lick Whitlake. He's pretty good. Oklahoma State's 165. Short season here, too, folks. Right now, Cleveland State's beating WVU 12-7. to But Peyton Hall looking to put WVU back in this thing. A win here. His riding time is not a factor. 133 remains in the third. And you gotta be thinking major decision if you're Peyton Hall. Him and Smucker were scrapping early on. Eventually, Peyton Hall stuck with it, got it his first takedown and then he got an injury and then a reversal after the injury time at the end of the second period. So heads up hustle wrestling by Peyton Hall. Now he's putting a hard ride on Riley Smucker. Smucker up to his feet, looking to come up and out. Hall's got to return him. And uh, CSU coaches are yelling. He's grabbing his singlet. So now it's going to be 5-1. The ride time is not up over a minute. It's at 57 seconds for Hall. So Hall looking good here at 165. Got a 5-1 lead on Riley Smucker. Smucker did take an injury timeout for his ankle. Fires off a shot, swings and misses, counter shot, runs him down to the double. Peyton Hall, ride time now up over a minute. 33 seconds remain, 7-1, now 7-2 for Peyton Hall, and he's turning up the heat on Riley Smucker right now. A takedown ride out will be a major decision for Peyton Hall. So Peyton Hall looking 
for the major here on Riley Smucker. Can he get it? Can he get it? We shall see. Peyton Hall is trying to run him down. He's got to go get this last takedown. There it is. He takes a shot, does Peyton Hall. Smucker sprawls. We're on the close to the edge here. Short time inside of five, and he's not going to get that major. But Peyton Hall does pick up a win, and it's going to be 12 to 10 after 165. Peyton Hall picks up the win for WVU. So the Steubenville product is on the mat. You're going to be looking at Anthony Rice at 174 pounds coming out for the Vikings of Cleveland State. Rice is going to be taking on Scott Joel. Joel, the three and two sophomore for the Mountaineers is on the mat. If you're WVU, you're down 12 to 10 right now. You need a big win here at 174. Rice, probably an undersized 74 out there for Josh Moore. Folks, make sure you mash the subscribe button. Rice takes a shot. Oh, big throw attempt. Joel's going to get two. They waved it off. Now we're in this crazy over-under position. Nothing. That was crazy. And they're going to throw the brick on it. Tim Flynn's going to throw the brick. We're going to have a look at this. That was wild. I got an absolutely crazy view of that. I thought Joel had something. Wow. And they're going to look at this one. Joel <laughs> comes out. Anthony Rice double legs him. And fireworks, folks. Fireworks. You got to love it. They're taking a look at it over here. Okay, they're going to have a look at it over here. And we'll see if it's a takedown or not. There they are. They're, they're scoping it out. Match is brought to you by Defense Soap. Defense Soap, defend what you built. And Barbarian Apparel conquered the impossible. The official outfitter of Ohio Cast, folks. Joel and Rice. Sick happens right out of the gate. Flynn through the brick. We're going to see what they say. I, I don't know. You know who wins this one, folks? The fans. That's who. So it is 12 to 10 here at 174 pounds. The dual score, a scoreless bout, 30 seconds in. And we're going to see what they call this. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Subscribe to Ohio Cast, folks. We're going to see what they got. And I got a great view of it, a really good view of it. They came at you almost into your living room. That was nice. So we're seeing what they're going to say. The uh, Ruff's taking a look at it. It appears as though Tim Flynn is correct. So they're going to get the clock right. It's going to be two takedown for Joel. So Scott Joel, the three and two sophomore from WVU, gets a big throw against Anthony Rice. He's going to be up 2-0. And they're going to restart the clock at 242. Wow, that was crazy. Sick happens. Man, he launched him too. So Joel going to have a 2-0 lead. 241 remains in the first. So now Rice is going to get a quick reversal here. Rice and Joel. Folks, there's going to be some live action here. I don't know what to tell you, but I don't know if someone's going to get pinned here. Comes out right away. No escape to reversal. The dual score 12 to 10 in favor of Cleveland State here against West Virginia. We're at 174 where Scott Joel has a 3-2 two, a lead on Anthony Rice. Joel and WVU in the blue and gold. They are red on the scoreboard. Cleveland State in the black and silver singlets. They are green on the scoreboard. Match is brought to you by Defense Soap. Defense Soap, defend what you have built. And Barbarian Apparel conquered the impossible. 3-2 lead for Joel of West Virginia. And the Mountaineers are down 12-10 to 10 to the Cleveland State Vikings. There's a shot by Joel. So WVU... Needs a big win from Joel here. This is another toss-up match because if you are Cleveland State, you're very aware that the number one 197-pounder Hodge Trophy finalist 
Noah Adams is waiting in the wings, the redshirt junior at 5-0. and oh. So you got to get all the wins you can get. Cleveland State's probably got to win this and 84 to have a chance. This is 174 pounds on the mat. Anthony Rice, Scott Joel Rice for Cleveland State University. A little foot sweep attempt there by Joel. 107 remains in the first 10 seconds of ride time for Rice of Cleveland State. Rice probably would be better suited at 165, but Josh Moore is confident in his ability at 74. He fires off a shot, and this is where they were last time when fireworks happened, folks. So, so don't blink. Shot by Joel. And 48 seconds remains. Rice looking to get to the body. Tries to throw to his back, and he does. Rice could be looking for a ball. Joel's in huge trouble. Oh my goodness, he's gonna get through it. That's gonna be a six point move for Rice. He is gonna bust this thing wide open. Eight, three, wow. Holy smokes. Wow. He just straight double underhooked him, stepped across and hip tossed him. That was nice. So eight to three right now. There's a roll for Joel. One escape, eight four now. Joel and Rice. This is the first period, eight to four. They are scrapping, folks. Holy smokes! Rice, undersized, not wrestling like it. And there he's going to run him down again. Nothing. Thought he had his hip. It's close. Good shot to the backside of the official. Now a single X. Five seconds remains. Rice tries to shoot him off or off the mat. Joel tries to jump over. We're gonna get a restart with three seconds remaining out of bounds. Eight to four here in the first. Anthony Rice, Scott Joel, barn burner wrestling, folks. We've already had a challenge. Cleveland State won. Rice just stands their straight need. And him and Joel are in a scrap. Once again, match is brought to you by Defense Soap. Defense Soap, defend what you have built. And Barbarian Apparel, conquer the impossible. So Joel and Rice in a barn border, 12 points on the board in the first. Rice covers. So Joel can make it a three point bout, he does that. Gave up a six point move and there's another double leg for Rice. And it's almost like he ran into the hips, he had him hopping, that was really weird. Now Rice steps over it again, nothing yet, has him captured, has the hips, we're on the edge. Nothing yet, but he's got the wizard. No takedown. Wow, action is the call. That's a good no takedown, too. He was in on the wizard, and now Rice wants him to throw the brick. He's going to. He might be a little tired. So they threw the brick. We're going to get another one. Two challenges in this match so far. Bananas at 174 pounds right now, folks. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. Craziness. Yes, very tired. Very tired right now is Rice because, I don't know, he put eight points on the board. Uh, he's undersized at 165. There's a lot of reasons you could say, but crazy match. They're having a look at it right now. Joel and Rice are in a dog fight. Eight to five, Rice. 141 remains here in the second period. Joel with a quick escape. What about? Both guys have thrown each other. And I think it might be two, but they're gonna wave it off. Let's see. They don't appear to be throwing the brick back to Scott Moore or Josh Moore. He loses his brick, and that is it. No takedown. It's confirmed no takedown. So I don't care. It's a great match. So here we go, back to action, 174. Your dual score, 12 to 10 in favor of the CSU Vikings. Joel and Rice, there's Rice into the body again. He shot multiple double legs here for Cleveland State. And Joel looking a little ankle pick there. 122 remains, 22 seconds of ride time. Joel shoots underneath. Joel and Rice getting after it. Joel now pressing, underhook for Joel. Now Joel is doing all the action. I know Rice might be a little gassed after all his action, after all his attacks. Front headlock now for Joel. 101 remains here, second period. 
8-5 lead for Scott Joel. And he goes to mix him, and there it is. He's got him. No, nothing. And Rice recovers. Wow. Shot by Rice. Now looking to run the corner front headlock is Joel. Hooks the leg two, takedown eight, seven, bout here at 174. Oh, he cement mixed him. Now he's looking foot carry. Rice might be in some trouble here, folks. 30 seconds remains. I mean gas tank trouble. Joel surging, Rice kind of fading right now, but maybe Rice can get his wits about him here after getting taken down. There's a stall on Rice underneath. One for Joel. Wow, crazy. Crit Musser, 10 seconds saying he's got to get off the hips. Rice could get dinged again. He's got to bring his head up. Five seconds left in the second. We tied at eight. Wow, holy smokes. Third period and Rice is gassed. And the officials are talking about something. Choice, Rice. Green's choice, Rice's choice. And Rice is pretty gassed right now, folks. No question about it. Joel just kept a high pace here at 174, but it is eight to eight. It's not like he has the lead yet. But Rice appears to be fading. We'll see. Now a leg is in for Joel. Rice up to his feet immediately. And I don't know what that is. There is nothing. No, he gave him one. Gave him one. I never thought he even broke control. So it is 9-8 Rice. And he got it. Wow. So 9-8. Joel's got to finish this. 33 seconds of ride time for Joel. Rice hopping. Got to finish it. Looks to run down, turns down, runs out. Two, takedown. Joel, 10-9 lead for Joel here at 174. And Rice is underneath. He's been dinged for stalling twice, giving up a point. And he does not look like he's going to come up off the mat there. He's going to get dinged again. Arm is out on the back. Flattened out is Anthony Rice and... Joel has him flattened out. Now Rice gets his hand back. One minute remains. Bar half now for Joel on top. Rice has to find one, but the ride time is at 106 and climbing. He's down 10-9. It's not going to matter if he gets out. He's going to have to get out and get a takedown. 45 seconds remains. Now half bar. Bar half for Joel on top. Rice flattened out completely. He's already been warned for stalling twice. And Bar in there, running it for Joel. Stalemate restart, 26 seconds remains in the third. Rice is going to have to get a reversal. The riding time is locked up because it's at 133, and he is gassed out. And the WVU coaches don't let him go. Rice is going to have one more explosion in him, is my guess. Boot comes in, up, Rice to his feet, 20 seconds remains. He needs a reversal to tie it. Joel's got to return him. If he can turn and face, oh, nice, Matt return. And now he turns in, switch attempt. Edge of the mat, nice hard Matt return. And Joel is going to ride this thing out, three seconds remains. Joel is gonna win this thing 11-9. Unless Rice can pull a rabbit out of the hat. Rabbit out of the hat in the next three seconds. Rice underneath. Three seconds remains. Can Joel ride here? Not give up a reversal. There's a reversal. It's two. Reversal standing reversal. As time expires. 11-11. Wow. That's a rabbit out of the hat, folks. That's what it looks like. Anthony Rice, rabbit out of a hat. 11-11 overtime. The riding time point goes on the board. Holy smokes. If you're not fired up, you better be. Cleveland State wins this match. If there were fans here, the roof would come off the place. Holy smokes, he did it. Yes, that just happened. They're towing the line. One minute sudden victory. Shot. Deep shot by Rice. He's in on it. 
Now he's got double underhooks. He's going to try and trip. And if he pushes him off, there's a shot attempt. And oh, stall to end the match. Horrible. Awful. Wow. Worst thing I've seen in college wrestling this year, folks. Sudden victory. Stall warning. Could have called action. Didn't. Chose to call it. Don't know about that one, folks. He did it, though. He's got the stripes on it. Awful finish to the match. So the 84s are on the mat. 13-12 lead for West Virginia. Yes, that was officiated barely poorly. I agree. Sure, it's the rule of the law, but you call action and let them, let them finish it, figure it out. 184, DeAndre Nasser, the freshman, so explosive. Division three state champion for Bluffton in Ohio. And he's taking on Anthony Carmen Carmen. And yeah, I'm still recovering from the 174 match. Ended on a sudden victory stall call, folks. That wasn't actually really a stall call, but you do you, college refs, you do you. Thirteen twelve lead and CSU not in a very good position to win this duel now. West Virginia will have Noah Adams next. So madness ensues and erupts at 174 pounds. Three second reversals. DeAndre Nasser is a powerhouse, folks. Two takedown, no nothing yet. Wow. Great job by Carmen. Nothing yet. I thought he had two. Now he's into the body. Whoa, he lifts him. Nasser's a powerhouse, folks. Probably one of the shortest 84s in the country. And up and out is Carmen. So Anthony Carmen, the redshirt freshman, three and two on the year. Nasser, two and all on the year. The true sophomore wrestled last year as a true freshman. Match is brought to you by Defense Soap, Defense Soap, Defend with your belt, and Barbarian Apparel. Conquer the impossible. What a crazy bout we just had at 174. 2 1 lead for DeAndre Nasser here at 184. I have seen so many. There's a shot by Carmen. Nasser does a nice job. I have seen so many refs swallow the whistle on that and call action. But. I don't have the stripes on this guy does. So. One eighty-four. Carmen takes a shot. He's stuck down underneath Nasser front headlock. DeAndre Nasser from Bluffton, Ohio, Division Three state champion in Ohio, one hundred eighty-two pounds. Now he's wrestling one eighty-four in college for Josh Moore. This duel is 13 to 12 in favor of West Virginia. We're on the edge here. Shot Carmen, front headlock Nasser. Short time, 2-1 lead. Nasser going into the second choice. So. Nasser's choice will be underneath to start the second. 2-1 lead, Nasser. Nasser can squat a Volkswagen, folks. And on the edge, we're going to get a restart here. 2-1. So I don't know if folks quite understand the essence of the stall call when you back off the mat you had somewhere else to go so many of them are such a judgment call the essence is if you are being elusive and not wrestling you call the stall but probably in sudden victory after the guy just took a shot and shot the other guy to the edge and gets turned one escape for nasser then you call it i see so many of them they just call action i mean i watch a lot of wrestling so 
I don't know if I'd have called that one. It's 50-50, though. I might wanted more wrestling. I don't care. I'm guessing Tim Flynn wanted more wrestling, too. But So, 3-1 lead Nasser shot Carmen. So, Nasser 3-1 lead, 58 seconds remains in the second. Make sure you mash the subscribe, okay? Subscribe to Go Hiocast. Match is brought to you by Defense Hope. Defense Hope, defend what you have built. And Barbarian Apparel, conquer the impossible. The official outfitters of Go Hiocast. Nasser takes a shot. Carmen's looking to sit the corner. Snakes that leg in. Now looking to hip switch is Nasser to take down Carmen. That was nice. Really nice. Now he's going to have double boots in. 22 seconds remain. Nasser is, like I said, he can squat a Volkswagen. He's looking to stand up. Carmen double boots in. It's going to be choice. Carmen going into the third. Nasser had his head there for a second, unable to do anything with it. And 41 seconds of ride time for Carmen. And we're going to go to the third choice. Carmen with a 3-3 tie. So, Nasser, Carmen, Barnburner. 3-3. Not to be confused with 174 barn burner earlier. So Carmen underneath. Nasser gonna let him go. 4-3 lead Carmen WBU. WBU wins this one. They will lock this duel up going into 197. It's 13-12, but no Adams is next, folks. If you you don't know, you'll know after you see him wrestle today. He's the number one ranked 197 pounder in the country. 5-0 in the year. Hodge Trophy finalist last year for Tim Flynn in West Virginia. CSU battling today. Nasser down 4-3 to Carmen. Nasser takes a shot. Carmen defends. We're on the edge here, or in the middle here. Check that. 184 is on the mat. Good action. All, all day. Great action all day. Great dual meet. Nasser trying to get through the head hands. And 13-12 duel here. 50 seconds remains. DeAndre Nasser, deep shot. Was a double. Now single. Left side. Got to put Carmen down. Carmen hopping to take down. Hurt his ankle. Looking for near falls. It's Nasser. Could have had him some trouble, and he did scream out, and they're going to stop it. And potentially dangerous is the call. Nasser 5-4 lead, 35 seconds remains. One, not two, my favorite. I'm going to be saying it to my sons a lot, I got a feeling. That means just let him go, maybe. Watch the roll. Riding time, not a factor. 30 seconds remains. Nasser going to be tied now. We're tied 5-5 five, five here at 184. Carmen takes a shot on Nasser. Nasser defending. And front headlock now. 15 seconds remains, third period. DeAndre Nasser and WVU's Carmen gonna get a stalemate here. And Anthony Carmen was losing this one, took the lead in the third. And we're gonna get sudden victory again. Love it, I love extra time wrestling. Bonus time wrestling here. Here we go. One, one, sudden victory, five, five, bout here. 184 pounds, Nasser, Cleveland State, Carmen, Anthony Carmen, WVU on the mat. Carmen takes a shot. Nasser went and got a takedown in the third to tie it. Well, take the lead. There's another shot. Carmen, front headlock, Nasser. Nasser can squat a Volkswagen. Shortest 184 in the country. 
35 seconds remains. There's another shot by Carmen. And Carmen has picked up his frequency of shots. He looks more active here. He's surging. There's a deep shot. Runs into an underhook. So, 15. There's another shot by Carmen. Man, he is going gas tank. Front headlock, Nasser. Looking to run, go behind. Nothing yet. Short time inside of nine seconds. Nasser looking to spin and go behind. Carmen now head. Had his head popped out. We're going to go to ride outs. This favors Carmen, in my opinion, on the mat. But here we go. What a great bout here. 184s, ride outs. Now the one minute, one minute sudden victory yielded nothing. Nasser going to be underneath to start the first 30 second ride out. Carmen covers. Nasser's got to get an immediate escape here. A boot comes in, it's going to be a ride out. Now we're in a crab. Crab ride position. Nasser fighting hands. He's going to be up and out. And that was pretty, that was really good. Just a red shirt sophomore. When as a true freshman did Nasser, Carmen has been on a bunch of shots. Spin go behind. Nothing yet. Two takedown. Nasser, six seconds left in this ride out. Is he going to finish it? And he's going to take an 8-5 into the last ride out here before another sudden victory. And if Nasser can hold him down, obviously he wins. But if he can not give up a takedown after a Carmen escape, he will win this bout and put Cleveland State back in the lead. 25 seconds remains. Carmen's got to go get a takedown if he wants to go to another one. Wants another one. So, shot by Carmen. 10 seconds remains. And five seconds. And DeAndre Nasser's going to win this thing eight to six. There's a shot by Carmen. That's going to be time. And Nasser's going to knock off Carmen eight six in the third overtime or after the second ride out. And there it is. The win for Nasser. So here we go, the number one ranked 197 pounder in all of the land. Hodge Trophy finalist out here for WVU. You're gonna be looking at Noah Adams, the red shirt junior, five and zero on the season for Tim Flynn. They call him the Coal City Crusher. Oh, that's a good one, I like that one. So Adams, Hodge Trophy finalist last year, big 12 champion for Tim Flynn and WVU, the Mountaineers. He's taking on Ben Smith, the North Canton Hoover Viking. So, people are expecting a good show here. Match is brought to you by Defense Soap. Defense Soap, defend what you've built. Barbarian Apparel conquered the impossible and Noah Adams on the mat. Number one wrestler in all the country on all of the land NCAA Division I for West Virginia. Match is also brought to you by Barbarian Apparel. Conquer the impossible. A winning team, folks. Barbarian Apparel and Defense Soap. Make sure you hit the subscribe button here on GoHioCast YouTube. I'm Zeb Miller. We've got a scoreless bout here. Adams out there at 197. Smith lost a close one to McCracken. And McCracken at Kent State. Common opponent for both guys. Adams in on a shot, looking to lift him, nothing. Smith tries a headlock off the mat. And there it is, we're gonna get a restart. This duel, 15-30 in favor of Cleveland State right now, and they're scrapping. So Ben Smith out on the mat now for Cleveland State, the Hoover Viking. Also a Cleveland State Viking, folks. Adams, your number one ranked 197 in the country. So. 105 remains here. Shot, Smith, counter shot, Adams. Adams looking to score, throws it by. Nice hard, oh, on his head. 
And now he's got it. Pulls him into the claw. Two near fall. Quick count there for Adams. 4-0 lead. Noah Adams showing you why he's the number one ranked guy in the country. 40 seconds remains here in the first. And we're going to restart off the mat. Adams, 4-0 lead on Ben Smith. Can Smith keep this thing competitive? So let's see if Adams, Adams is going to try and work on top here. 32 seconds remains in the first. 4-0 lead Adams, WVU. Smith up to his feet immediately. And nice hard mat return. Smith is up to his feet. We're on the edge and we're off the mat. Gonna get a restart. So Adams, 22 seconds to ride here. Let's see if he can do just that. Nice little cheap tilt for Adams there on the edge. Smith looking to come out. He rolls. Flattened out is Smith. That was a nice little exchange. Adams, five seconds away from riding period. He's going to take a 4-0 lead. And 55 seconds into the second is your number one rank, Noah Adams of West Virginia. Him and Smith. 55 seconds of ride time. Adams underneath, see how quick he can attempt to escape here. Can Adams extend his lead here? Smith riding claw. Adams turns in, one escape. Adams, 5-0 lead. Adams. Noah Adams, the red shirt junior, 5-0 on this season for Coach Flynn's Mountaineers. The Mountaineers are three and two is dual team, 15-13 lead right now for, 15-13 lead here at 197 for Cleveland State as far as the dual score. Punching an underhook, smashing the head is Adams. Adams double underhook, Smith getting his hips back, looking to jack up double underhooks. It's Noah Adams, Ben Smith. Scrapping with him, man. 5-0 lead. Second period here. 53 seconds remains the ride time at 43 seconds for Adams. Folks, make sure you mash that subscribe button on GoHioCast YouTube. Check out highlights on GoHioCast Instagram and Twitter after the match and we'll get post-match interviews with what WVU guys and Cleveland State guys great matches up and down the lineup left-handed head inside single leg runs into the hips 24 seconds left Smith's in on a shot Adams getting his hips back WVU down 15-13 right now Adams with a 5-0 lead here against Ben Smith 10 seconds left on the second period if you're Adams you're going to try and get another takedown here you need major takes a shot from Space Smith Single leg hop in three seconds as Adams going to get this. End of the second. Smith and Adams are scrapping. 5 0 lead going into the third. Choice Smith. So Smith's choice is underneath. He's done 5 0 to number one, Noah Adams. Adams covers. 43 seconds of ride time and climbing now for Noah Adams. This is 197 pounds. Your dual score is 15, 13. So it's gonna come down to heavyweight, no matter what. No matter what Noah Adams does here, if he pins, tacks, majors, right now he's, he's lined up for a regular decision if the score were to end up like this. 51 seconds of ride time, there's a shot counter shot there. And Ben Smith is impressing, folks. He is battling here. Cleveland State is a bunch of junkyard dogs, and that's supposed to be only a term reserved for the Cody Walters the junkyard dog assistant coach, volunteer assistant for WVU. Shout out to him, literally a junkyard dog, a scrapper. Two-time All-American for the Ohio University Bobcats, now a assistant coach for WVU. 
So 120 remains here in the third. Noah Adams 5-1 lead on Ben Smith. Shot into underhooks, tries to punch it up. Now drops double, does Noah Adams. He trips it down to take down Adams. 7-1 lead, his ride time, 55 seconds and climbing for Noah Adams. Ooh, brushing his teeth nicely there. Feeding him a little forearm. Now we got a half. Left side half. Dry pry on the opposite side. 50 seconds remains. Ride time at 110 and climbing now for Noah Adams. And Ben Smith has competed here, folks. And there's a little tilt on the edge. Going for it. And in the current situation with the match score, it will be a regular decision, 30 seconds remaining. So Adams has got to try and get two more points here. He's effectively has an 8-1 lead with the riding time locked up. We're off the mat. We're going to get a restart. Riding time's locked at 135 with 23 seconds remaining. So for Noah Adams, you got to be thinking, obviously, major decision. Flynn's saying, let's go neutral. Gives him the old neutral here at 197. It's going to come down to 285s here. WVU. And 20 seconds left, I guess Guess he's keeping him down. Eating some cross faces there. Adams is tougher than nails, though. Showing you why he's the number one ranked wrestler in the country for WVU. Hodge Trophy finalist last year for Tim Flynn and the Mountaineers. He's going to win an 8-1 bout here, it looks like. So I guess stressing, staying tough on top, or maybe get a quick cheap tilt here. And Smith is going to get four seconds and he's going to get one it's going to be seven two as adam's headgear comes unbuttoned but i'll tell you what he's the real deal he throws his headgear off the mat and now cleveland state wants a point but they're not going to get it and it's going to be oh they, they are going to do it they're going to do a team point we're going to be tied at 15 going into heavyweight holy smokes wow they took a team point away from noah adams i disagree with it but i get it so the 285s are on the mat. Now, wait a minute. Are there still 1615 up? No, it's 1515. Wow. Noah Adams just got a team point deducted for throwing his headgear. It all comes all down to the heavyweights. You got John Kelbley coming out. Kelbley for CSU. And right now, and there's an action call. <clears throat> Kelbley was trying to get back in. And this is crazy. Uh, Michael Wolfgram, Wolf, Wolfgram, the registered freshman, three and two, taking on undef or undefeated two and zero, oh, John Calvey. So Wolfgram, Calvey, for all the marbles, 15-15 duel here at 285. Wolfgram, Calvey, Calvey won an overtime bout last weekend against Kent State. And he's a warrior, folks. Uh, in the military, ROTC. Talked to him last week. Wolfgram in on a single, got him hopping. And Kelbley's trying to put his foot down. Wolfgram, now he's getting extended. Kelbley front headlock. And now Kelbley in on a single on Wolfgram. Wolfgram hopping. Kelbley puts it up, he rolls. That was a great athletic move by Wolfgram. Now we're in a 50-50. We're going to get a quick stalemate here, and we're probably going to go back to action. There it is. 135 left in the first. Wolfgram, WVU taking on Kelbley. It comes down to the last match. The dual score tied at 15. The match score tied at zero. Great match. Great funk roll by Wolfgram, and he's a freshman. Calbly, the Smithville Smithy, ROTC guy. Wolfgram, just a redshirt freshman. Calbly, redshirt junior. So it all comes down to the 285s on the mat here. And Cleveland State, Wolfgram tied at 15 here. The dual score of the match. On the mat right now is zeros. Wolfgram and Calvary both have a single leg with the other guys. And there's a shot by Wolfgram. Calvary circles back in. 
And there's a nice snap by Wolfgram. 41 seconds remains in the first period. Match is brought to you by Defense Hope. Defense Hope, defend what you've built. And Barbarian Apparel, conquered the impossible. Make sure you hit that subscribe button for GoHioCast, folks. Folks, it has been a just battle between West Virginia and Cleveland State. All up and down the lineup. You got to love it. If you're Josh Moore, you're going to be pretty happy with this performance no matter what happens here with Kelbley. Wolfgren Kelbley inside of 10 seconds now left in the first. And that will do it for the first scoreless first. Wolfgren Kelbley, and here we go. Choice Kelbley is going to go underneath to start the second in a scoreless bout. Once again, your duel. Your duel is, it's a 15-15 duel, scoreless here at heavyweight. Cowboy looking to come up and out. Wolfgram covers. Cowboy up to his feet, he's up and out. 1-0 lead, Cleveland State here at 285. John Cowboy, the redshirt junior from Smithville, Ohio, trying to pick up the win. Your duel score is tied at 15. And the Vikings are for real, folks. Would have had a win last week had they kept score against Kent State. Kelbley and Wolfgram, there's a nice little low ankle pick to a single for Kelbley. Dumps him, looking to run the pipe. Nope, goes back down to his knees. Wolfgram in a really good position to score here now. Kelbley in a not so good position. And now Wolfram's gonna flatten him out. He was on the ankle. Kelbley's hanging onto an ankle. Gotta break that grip. Kelbley in a really bad spot right now. And nothing yet. He's got the leg hook too. Takedown. Wolfram. And Wolfram in a great position. Up 2-1 now on Kelbley. Kelbley's gonna have to get an escape here. Up to his feet is Kelbley. He's up and out. He's going to tie this thing at two. 40 seconds left here in the second period. John Kelbley. 2-2 two, two bout with WVU's Michael Wolfgram. Wolfgram with the only takedown of the bout. So Wolfgram, Kelbley. 20 seconds left in the second. 2-2 two, two bout. It will be Wolfgram's choice here in the third. Match is brought to you by Defense Soap. Defense Soap, defend what you built, and Barbarian Apparel conquer the impossible. So, folks, they've been playing music here today. The replay is probably going to be unavailable on YouTube because YouTube flags music. So they felt necessary to play the music during the duel today. So I will put the replay over onto my Rockfin channel, GohioCast and Z Miller on the Rockfin, so that's where you will watch the replay. And here we go, third period, 2-2 two, two about Wolfgram. Only take down him and Kelbley. Kelbley falls off, two, reversal. Wolfgram, this is very good for WVU. He goes roll, tries to wing and roll. And it is four to two. If Kelbley gets up and out, it's gonna be four to three. Now if you're Kelbley, you have to have a takedown. So one more time, these replays will be over to the Rockfin channel because YouTube will flag music in the background. There you go. So, Zeb Miller, GohioCast on Rockfin. And now Cowboy down 4-3 here to Wolfgram. Wolfgram doesn't have to do much here. He's just got a hand fight heart. So, Cowboy, Wolfgram, Crazy finish here, 105. The duel score is tied, going into the final match at 15. Wolfgram, Kelbley, inside of a minute. 4-3 lead for Michael Wolfgram. Wolfgram of West Virginia, looking for the win for the Mountaineers. Whoever wins this match wins the duel. Came down to this anyway, and there's a little elbow pass attempt. There's a nice swing and a miss. Now a single for Wolfgram. Got Kelbley hopping, 35 seconds. A takedown ices it for WVU. Nothing yet. Wolfgram steps over. Two takedown. Wolfgram is going to ice it with 25 seconds. 6-3 win or lead. And in a great position 
WVU is going to pick up an 18-15 win up the strength of Michael Wolfgram's. Looks like it's going to end up being a 6-3 win at heavyweight. But the Cleveland State Vikings battled here today at Woodling. And Flynn is bananas about keeping him down. And there it is. Wolfgram picks up the win. WVU is going to win this duel 18-15. And it was a barn burner, folks. Wow, that was crazy. WVU is going to take it 18-15 from here at Woodling Gym. So replay, check out over on Rockfin, folks. YouTube will flag this because of the music played, and that will do it. Full replay will be on Rockfin, and uh, YouTube will take the this down, not me, because of the music.